Hey there everybody, welcome back to the channel. So today we've got a little bit of a ghetto rigged project. So I actually need a exhaust fan for something that I'm working on. I've got to use the soldering iron up here in the dorm. Uh, it's not going to be for soldering uh, and it's going to create a lot of uh, fumigation and I'd like to just be able to pipe that right out the window of my dorm. And so I don't have a fan, but I do have a PC fan. I don't want to move my computer over by the window. It's a big pain in the ass just for one fan. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be taking a spare case fan and we're going to be taking a USB cable that I have laying around. And I'm going to show you guys how to uh, take this cable apart and then get it to where you can either solder it into this or just uh, use it as, I guess, kind of like a plug for the fan. So we'll jump right in. Well, the first step is uh, just find an old USB cable. I'm just using an old uh, micro USB cable here. And the first thing you need to do is go ahead and take some nippers. Just snip the end off that bad boy. So I don't know if we can see too well. There are a bunch of little cables in there. So the next thing we got to do is strip this back a bit. So I don't have any cable strippers. So you'll have to bear with me here. I'm just going to savage this. and see where we can go from there alright sorry about that I'm, I'm horrible at stripping wires so what we've got in here is we've got a bunch of uh, filler cables I'm not sure if this is shielding or extra cables I, I don't know I'm sure you could figure it out if you looked online but what we're doing is uh, we're digging in here and we're gonna try to find uh, we're gonna try to find the power cables so I uh, could definitely look this up um, and I probably will here in a second we'll do a cut but uh, I'm gonna go out on a limb and guess that this is our negative and this is our positive so let me double check that on the old Google and then we'll come right back Alright, so my uh, suspicions that the red and the black were uh, positive and neg, those are positive and ground, those, uh, those were confirmed, um, at least in the cable diagrams, the cable layouts that I found in a quick Google Images search. So I uh, went ahead and stripped those off camera because God knows I can't strip wires to save my life. And so this, this I'll admit, this took a try or two. Um, I'm just uh, cleaning them up a little bit now just to make them a little bit easier to thread into the fan um, ports and then before we do that though I am going to clean this up a little bit so we got all these extra wires um, you know we got uh, the data cables in here that we no longer need so I'm just going to take our nippers I'm just going to snip 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 and we're just going to clean this up a little bit. Just try to get some of that crap out of here, you know. If it ain't doing nothing for us, then, you know, there's no harm in getting rid of it. Alright. So, got that all cleaned up. And this is what we're left with. Our nice two leads. So, now, where do we plug these? Well, now that you've got your fancy fucked up wire you need to know where to plug them so uh, your standard uh, PC case fan it's going to be keyed so that it'll only go in one way I'm sure we're familiar with this we've all built computers thought we put the fan in the right way some bitch won't go in and you look and well you're putting it in the wrong way so if you're looking at it from this side you're gonna have your ground then you're going to have your 12 volt. Then you're going to have your, uh, what is it, PWM sensor cable. And then you're going to have your PWM control cable. Um, or I guess that's just the RPM sensor. Uh, you don't need PWM for that. And then you'll have your PWM control. And so what we need to do is we need to put our ground in the first, and we need to put our 12 volt in the second. So we are just going to take our neato little wire and we're just going to shove those bad boys in there. Now, if you weren't doing this temporarily and you wanted a more permanent solution, say for when it's hotter than hell in the summertime, feel free to just go ahead and trim your leads and just get rid of this fan um, adapter here on the end. 
and go ahead and solder those in. Uh, it's not very hard, just do an inline solder. I mean, you could probably even make a USB or PC powered fan. I don't see any reason why that, just do an inline solder. So, now we've got everything hooked up. It's, uh, oh, no, not if I unplug it. So, I managed to finally get everything plugged in. It's a little bit more difficult if you're doing this temporarily. I'd suggest maybe just taking a little piece of wood and uh, just stapling your wires in place while you're using it. Um, but I finally got everything hooked up, and we've got the other end attached to a USB battery. And so, as long as everything's done correctly, I'll hit this button. And what's the problem? Troubleshooting done again. I made the mistake I warned you guys about, and I put the plugs in the wrong side. So I had one lead uh, going to nothing, and I had one lead going to the PWM control, which obviously that's not going to spin the fan up. So um, the battery's not shut off, so we can't do the dramatic button press anymore. But what I can do is I can plug this in for you guys on camera. Come on, don't be like this. Troubleshooting is done now, and uh, problem was I did the same thing that I warned you guys about, put them in the wrong spots, had one going to the PWM, and I had one going to literally nothing. So uh, with that in mind, we will now hit the button and see if this fires up. All right. Ah, okay, there we go. I had a bad connection. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen, a USB powered fan for uh, your desktop or for, you know, removing fumigation or whatever you need. Uh, you can also plug this into your computer, plug this into a power, uh, power bank, you can plug this into just your phone charger, whatever's powered by USB. There you have it. So hopefully this has been uh, helpful for you guys. If you like this, please leave a like. Check out our Discord channel. That uh, should be down in the description below. Other than that, hope you guys have a great day.